welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is obviously not my jungle, it's my car. I am sitting in my friend Liz's parking lot because, parking lot, her driveway. I can talk good. Anyway, I am watering her plants for her while she is away um yeah but i figured while we were here in newington watering her plants that we would check out the lowe's and maybe the home depot i know the lowe's is like okay ish in newington but i don't know i guess we'll see right i figured we do some big box split shopping while we were out so i'm gonna go on ahead and figure out how to get to lowe's from here and i will see you guys there all right, Lowe's Garden Center. It's been a while since we've been to the Newington location. Um, they don't usually have copyright music on inside their greenhouse here, but you never know. Hopefully not, and we can just chat while we shop. So, let's see. Okay, plants. Plants, plants, plants. Let's see. Lots of xanthosoma and a Peru. And then um, we've got some Baltic blue here, Adansonii, and then Tetrasperma. Apparently, they're doing Tetrasperma again. Let me wait for this guy to get off the phone. Okay fam, so I've been looking around and I found this cute little hanging basket of lemon lime maranta for $14.98. What do you think? Is this the one? Should I get it? They also have these cute little ones for $4.98. These leaves are really big and I can like get two of them and make a nice big <clears throat> pot of it. I don't know. I don't know. These leaves are really pretty. That's all I know. And um, I've been wanting one. So there's that. I'm just going to leave them here for now while we look at what else they have. It looks like they just have like some regular assorted foliage going on over here. But I did spot this Hoya Crimson Queen, no, Princess, for $19.98, which is a nice size. Ooh. Almost dropped you. It's a nice size, um, if I didn't have one already, and it's in good shape. The leaves are happy, nice and firm. So, there's that one. There's some cute Syngoniums. I don't know what kind this is, but it's pretty. They've got a big strawberry begonia up here. Lots and lots of pothos. Some aglionemas down here. The usual stuff that we see. Alocasia poly. Um, but there were some cute hanging plants. There's some more trending tropicals over here. This is some type of aglionema that I don't know the name of. Like, I've seen the name of it before. I just don't remember. And a cute little variated snake plant. Some purple waffle hanging up here. This is an interesting pot. <laughs> it's supposed to look like what is this supposed to look like? A bag? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know what this is. Trending Trump. Trending live trends. I'm fine. $29.98. There's some Audrey hiding in here. Ficus Audrey. Nothing super exciting. The ZZ is cute. But I saw another Hoya. I just don't remember where. Oh, here it is. Here's a little Hoya Lacanosa for $14.98. Not the happiest Hoya in the world, but it's here. 
and it'll grow and be happier, much happier than that, I promise. So, here's some pothos, some ferns. This is an interesting hanging basket for 28. Um, and then there's a little baby Cebu Blue hanging out here. Looking really, really cute for $14.98. Not mad about that. I see another Hoya hiding some ivy. There's another Hoya hiding back here. Looking cute, sort of, kind of happy. There's some Baltic Blues hiding in here. Some Silver Bay Aglionimas. Over here, there's a Pearls and Jade Pothos. Yeah, that's what they have it labeled as, but I don't know. I always think the one with the speckles is Pearls and Jade, and then the one without it is Enjoy, but I genuinely don't know. $14.98. They have some Heartleaf Philodendrons as well. Super cute. A much thirstier plant than people will tell you, though. Um, let me be the one to tell you, I suppose. <laughs> some Calatheas here. This one is $14.98. This one's 20 bucks. Sorry for all the noise. Looks like a Marble Queen. Pretty nice one for $14.98. Uh, maybe not, but those two leaves are pretty. I love this plant. I think it's super underrated. I think everybody should have one. I mean, look at that variegation. I feel like we overlook it because it's so common, but I think it's gorgeous. So, some croton, lots of ivy, some more syngoniums hiding in here, lots of different syngonium varieties in here. I don't know, like, should I get it? I don't know. I don't, I feel like I don't need it. Maybe I should just get this one little baby one and start with that. I don't know. Some Diefenbachias in here. So these smaller containers are $4.98 and then the slightly larger ones are $6.98. In case anybody was wondering. I think this is a spider plant. Some sort of chlorophytum. Hawaiian spider plant. Okay. Let's see. So it's got like a wider leaf with some nice little subtle variegation. It's cute. This actually looks like a Hawaiian pothos as well. These big leaves. So there's that. A couple of Hoyas. A couple of Cebu Blues. Not mad at it. Hmm. And there's some cute little begonias hiding in here. These bigger ones are $6.98. I don't know. I don't know what to do. That one's not very cute. <sighs> Send help. This is why I don't like shopping by myself. Okay, so there's some cute little Alocasia Maharanis over here for $15.98. They're not looking super happy, but they'll like grow new leaves and then there's another type of calathea with the trending tropicals collection those are twenty dollars cute little um what are you called obtusifolia peperomia right is that what it's called <laughs> and then there's just some dracaena some ferns this fiddle in this pot that i like to see if there's any like clearance stuff $20 isn't bad. I just don't want the plant. So if I could find like a dead plant in this pot, I'll definitely snag it. I like those pots too. I have a few of them. But nothing super exciting over here. Some Audrey, lots of palms mixed in. I see another sneaky little Calathea or something hiding back here. But I don't know. This guy's just like really cute. I feel like I feel like I'm gonna be mad if I don't get it. And then we saw these. Over here we just have your usual floor plants. Some Diefenbachias, Monsteras, 
all the good stuff. There's some orchids hanging out over there. And then one of these weird cacti thingies that I don't remember the name of. I think we saw one once before and it was labeled. I just don't remember what it was labeled as. Some bonsais. This fern on the floor is actually really pretty. It'd be nice if you had like a porch to hang it on. In a humid environment, definitely not outside up here right now, but I think that's it for over here. So they do have some stuff over here too. Little variegated chifleras. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> I like skulls. $12.98. There's a purple one. Very cute. Cute, cute, cute little pots. Another alocasia hanging out over here. This one looks like a little bit better, maybe. I don't know. And the door keeps opening and closing. That's not annoying. All right, let's go inside. Bringing this guy with me. There's probably gonna be music in here and not really any plants, so. Just a lot of croton and fiddles. I would totally get this Peru if I had the extra money. I don't usually see them that often, but I don't know. This one just has a couple of sad little leaves, but I feel like I feel like we should get her anyway. You know? Right? I don't know. Do you see like what happens when I'm by myself? Do I want this? Or should I get the smaller one? That's not actually like smaller. I feel like that's a better a better price, right? Like it'll grow ideally. This one just has like a lot a lot of plant in it. I don't know what to do, you guys. Do I want this one or this one? Let's put them on the floor. How do we feel? This one's bushier, right? This one's just like bigger, kind of, like taller, bigger, wider, and and cheaper. This one's only five dollars. This one's like fifteen. What do I do? I just love the dark leaves on here. What is that when they get more mature? They get darker like that? This one doesn't have it. Ugh, am I really gonna spend 10 more dollars on a slightly larger plant? It has new growth. There's a couple of new growth points and a little bloom. You guys, send help. Okay, y'all. I sent a picture to David and he picked this one. So, <laughs> I needed somebody to make a decision for me. Home Depot. I don't think they have much in here, but we're here, so we're gonna look. Okay. I guess they kind of have plants.
Okay fam, so Home Depot was a bust. It's unfortunate because they did have some like pitcher plants and other cute things, some orbifolia. You guys know I love my Calathea orbifolia or Geopertia, -per however you're supposed to say it. <laughs> I don't know, but we stick with Calathea. Um, yeah, so not the best plants in the world. Um, the Lowe's was definitely better. They had more plants, but... I had to come and look, right? You never know. It's like the Home Depot in West Hartford. They don't have really any trending tropicals or anything exciting, but you never know. That's where I got my pitcher plant. It looked better than that when I got mine, but it's always worth a look in my opinion. I even like to go and look at the grocery stores and stuff like that. I haven't gotten used to like what's good around here. Um, the Whole Foods definitely don't really have good plants around here, so there's that. Anyway, so at least I did get the one plant that I had to, I texted David a picture of the two of them side by side on the floor like I showed you guys at the end there, and um, he said this one was cuter, so I can't disagree with him. <laughs> Hopefully he thinks it's still cute in person, so um, I'm not mad about it. It's the same size hanging basket that my Syngonium Wenlandii is in so I'm probably going to hang them next to each other since they have similar light requirements and um, water requirements so keeping them grouped together I thought would be cute and they're already in the same size basket so this is my new lemon lime Maranta I know not everybody loves prayer plants but I really really love the contrast on the leaves of this one absolutely love it oh anyway falling apart over here <laughs> so yeah she's really cute love the contrast definitely not mad about her and uh that's it for this video i thank you guys so very much for coming along with me because i like shopping with friends so yeah thanks for coming shopping with me anyway if you enjoyed this video you should give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant fam. Come and get some of your little perky parks. And uh, if not, there's a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me and donate a few dollars to my channel. Um, obviously, you don't have to, but everything is appreciated. I cannot do this without you guys. I love you guys so, so very much. And I'm going to go. Thanks for coming along with me today to the Lowe's and the Home Depot in Newington, Connecticut. I'm going to stop talking now because it's getting hot in this car. Okay, I love you. Bye. She's so cute. Look at her. Look at you go, girl, in the sun. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Good choice, right? Do you guys agree? Let me know if you agree in the comments section below. And also, leave me some cute little lime green um, hearts if you watch this whole entire video. Okay, I'm going to go for real now. I love you guys. Bye!